Hey guys, welcome back to another Emlyn in the Mix. Got a very special episode for you today. Going to be going over the Sensile Morph video editor, which you can see in this uh, shot here. I've got the two cameras going for you today so you can actually see the device here. Now the Sensile Morph is a very amazing, very portable, pressure sensitive touch controller and it can basically be whatever you want it to be depending on if you have these different skins so as you can see I'll just take it off here and now it's not the sensor morph video editor it's just the sensor morph on its own and we literally just place it like that and now we have it in video editor mode so you'll see in my screenshot here I've got Adobe Premiere open and this thing just works straight out of the bag all of the shortcuts are all working it's really impressive. So I just wanted to show you guys today, is this possibly a video editor's dream controller? Well, let's find out what it can do. So I'm actually working on a bit of a music video today, one of my own, uh, my own track here with some very amazing 4K visuals going. So we've obviously got play pause button. We all know what that does. But it all just works very seamlessly. Probably my favorite feature on the Sensor Morph Video Editor is this scroll wheel here. It is amazing. So I can go by one frame. So if we have a look here on the video, you can see I'm cruising through. Now it's perfect for getting video edit points. So say we want to get this frame here just where it goes dark and goes to my next scene. I want to cut that, right? So basically we just want to cut it right there, we've spliced it, and now I can move that where I want to get it to. And it's very nice having that feature on here. Now I'm finding myself going back to my keyboard and mouse as well. I sort of see this more of as an additional controller. I know it could possibly be used as a standalone controller because you can actually get through all your windows on Adobe Premiere. And if you're an Adobe Premiere user, you'll know how to navigate around it. So one of the cool things that's featured on the Sensor Morph Video Editor is up the top here, you've got these black buttons and you've got save and undo and redo and you've also got your project, but you can also go to source, which will take me to my source up here, program, which is gonna take me to the actual program that we're viewing, timeline, it's gonna come down to my timeline, it's gonna highlight that section there and effects as well. So we can get straight into the effects on the video, which is fantastic. But we've also got some other options like tab, and delete up there as well. So you might wanna expand your audio, that's really simple. If we just go here and scroll out, you can see the audio is getting bigger. I can scroll down and have a look at that. And that's really nice if you need to be able to see the waveform and that sort of thing as well. Uh, and then of course you got video zooming in as well, so we can get right in there. Uh, actually, we just zoom back out. So we zoom out like this and zoom in like this. And then I could get, get across to my marker, go to my frames. So there's my frame there. So now I've got my scene and I want it to go on the actual beat. So let's have a listen. So I actually want my scene to change here. And it's very simple to do. I can just get it there. Now that I've cut it and got it perfectly, my scene will change on that music part there as well. And I love Adobe Premiere. It's very easy to use, very fluid. Let's have a look at that from the top. So you've got, I can go back to the top by pressing enter up here. That'll play through for me. So you can see that changed on the music change there as well. So aside from being able to do like simple little edits and getting right in there, you can also select your tools here. You got your tool selection down here, so I can go through pen, I've got my razor, which is great if I just wanna quickly get to my razor here. I mean, you do have these commands obviously on your keyboard as well, but it is nice just having them here just to quickly be able to get to my pointer, for example, and uh, also my rate, it's all there, it's all changing as you can see. Um, the tool changes also on my timeline as well, like that. Yeah, so I can actually select the video uh, that we're on there just by pressing select, that'll highlight it. And if I wanted to move that, I can just drag it with the mouse like that as well. Another really cool feature, and it comes back up to the scroll wheel here, is you can um, fast forward through just by holding this one down here. If you need to get quickly and further into your track, we'll go Yeah, and I can just reverse back through that. 
of reverse forward, go forward, sorry. And it's just nice being able to get through if you need to get through quickly to a selection. You've obviously got your numeral pad here as well for making quick selections. Pretty much everything is here. And you can also use the arrow keys much like you can on the keyboard, exactly the same thing um, to search through by single frames. Another cool feature about the Sensor Morph video editor is that if you open up the Sensor Morph app, it actually shows you uh, on the screen, the Sensor Morph video editor overlay will show up in the app straight away because it recognizes that you're using it. And it shows you when you actually press here, for example, I'm scrolling the wheel, it also shows you all the other buttons that are operating in that as well. Um, so for example, we're zooming in, we can see, like when I go back, you can see which particular things are getting affected. Uh, for example, equals here as well. And it's just a good way to learn the Sensor Morph Video Editor overlay. So I thought I'd just point that out. Another cool thing is, I don't know if I showed this on my other video before, but if you go here, you can actually see the Sensor Morph in action with the amount of touch sensitivity that it has. It actually has up to five kilograms of pressure sensitivity, which is very nice. I just had the video editor overlay going, I was being a bit too hard. Anyway, that is a very nice feature indeed, being able to see it and being able to visualize it. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was an interesting video for you. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button below. We have tons of awesome music and audio technology videos on the channel. Till next time guys, look forward to hanging out with you. Peace out, boom.